Hello, Soul Light. Great to connect with you. I hope this reading finds you in a good flow on your soul path. And I hope this reading brings some inside understanding and encouragement. Um, something in your life is about to become more successful or you're about to become more successful, whatever that term is for you. The guidance that came through was one area and for some it could be more than one area. You're about to see some level of success and this brings some kind of validation, acknowledgement, um, could be financial, I don't know, I'm just opening up, but the idea was success on its way, a successful conclusion, a successful turning point, a successful outcome. Um, the guidance was to make this message in a way that it gives you some direction as well as some kind of guidance about something that you're doing on your path that has to do with success. So we are going to look at that. Um, as always, timestamps are in the description box as well as ways to connect with me further. Um, you can connect with me on Patreon. I'd love to see you there if you feel a resonance. Otherwise, I do appreciate our connection here. And I really appreciate uh, some of you have been leaving the most heartfelt kind comments, but also comments about what you are going through on your soul path. And that's been very um, inspiring. So thank you for sharing a bit of yourself um, in this community. All right. So story number one is B. Soul story number two is Hummingbird. Soul story number three is Phoenix. And soul story number four is Dragonfly. All right, so you can get a closer look, connect in, trust your own intuition, your own inner guidance of what you're receiving, whether it's a card or more than one card. Trust that you are guided to the messages that are the most life-enhancing, supportive, and fulfilling for you on your path at this time. Okay, so I'm going to also do a tune-in alignment meditation. You're more than welcome to stay with me for that, or you can jump ahead to the timestamps. All right, so let's connect in heart to heart, breathing up through the crown chakra and releasing the breath consciously, centering inside. Breathing into the crown chakra, extending into the frequency of the higher self. Pause at the top, aligning to your soul signature frequency, breathing out, consciously bringing your awareness into that space in between the in-breath and out-breath. Center there. Breathing up in through the frequency of the higher self, feeling that connection to the navigating principle of your soul. Feel yourself connecting in, feeling more centered yet grounding. Ground and center, align. And in your own pace, when you breathe out, feel the attuning to the heart. Feel yourself very extended and expanded, yet very centered and grounded inside. Feeling the subtle shift to the higher frequency of clarity, clearness, and an all-encompassing love. Feel yourself guided by this love, the binding principle of the universe. Open up to the insights and understanding that are right for you on your path at this time. Hello, Radiant Soul. All right, this is soul story number one. This is your reading if you chose the B. There's a lot of clarity. You're going to have success in clarity and productivity 
and also that you're going to be attracting people that are more in alignment. You're finding your group, your person, your people. And for some people, this takes many, many years, decades. You've had an intention to be a part of a community or start a community um, or be a part of something big or something more in your life. And that is starting to gel. That's starting to come together. So this is about gathering, coming together with a sense of purpose. But what's bringing this is you've shifted in and have this amazing clarity about what is really important for you, what you really need and what right now in your life. So I'm getting community. I get family also, or this could be family of choosing. And also I feel you're going to be attracting a person, maybe a few people that are very inspiring. You per perhaps perceive very artistic or creative or productive. Um, they're sharing their gifts in the world. And you're going to have an opportunity, um, perhaps even a few opportunities, to share more of your gifts with other people. So you're moving into a time of sharing. So anything that has to do with sharing your gifts, sharing your insights, um, sharing yourself is going to bring you success. Okay, and you've got Boone. Blessings. Yeah, I, I feel like you're moving into a space where more successful people around you or success beget success. Um, I just heard success becomes you. You're feeling more successful. I mean, this is a very interesting energy for that little, that B. I feel like you're moving into this kind of space of divine timing. There's something that you are manifesting and it's going to have a heart opening. You're going to feel a heart opening in this sharing of your gifts. You're really going to be attracting people that really get you and receive you and um, appreciate you. So part of the success for you has a lot to do with relationship, different types of relationships. And it's in this divine timing. You've been wanting this. Um, I feel like the timing is for you. The guidance is saying that through your productivity, through you branching out, through you reaching out, and some of you it's just very slightly, very small reaching out, but you are aligning to this timing of being hooked up with other people, gathering, being connecting. I'm thinking of Va, the hook, um, the Hierophant, which will be interesting to see if the Hierophant comes through. Um, in the Kabbalah, va, uh, va, the hook, or the nail. Um, so it's like you're getting hooked on something, either your, your spirituality, your gifts, connecting. There, there's some energy that that is starting to really kind of hook you into something, uh, your own energy flow. This is putting you in the timing of the universe, your individual timing is starting to connect in to universal timing. And this is why you've got the card boon. That brings blessings, gifts out of the blue, unexpected blessings, unexpected people in your life that are very, um, bring blessings and are, are blessed, but also that are lucky. This is bringing you into more synchronistic timing. So if you have been wanting, I was just going to say partnership, if you've been wanting I feel like this is moving you in the direction if you're not partnered, whether that's a personal partnership, you know, life partner, committed relationship. It could be also with creativity. Look at that. Partnership is being activated. So you're going to be having great success in extending into other groups or other communities, whether in person or online that bring you successful partnerships. So you're entering in, especially I feel like there's been, maybe you haven't felt synced up or aligned with people for a, quite a long time, but this is your future. So you're creating a future um, that is activating, that is activating these partnerships or groups, or you being, you know, this could be family, this could be community, it's, it's just, I heard we're three or more instead of two or more, three or more gathered. So even if this it does bring in a committed relationship of some sort of, you know, marriage partnership or, you know, it's, it's definitely partnerships that are 
going to be here in your future. So the partners that you're, you're meeting or the friendships are getting stronger around you, more committed, more authentic, um, because it's activating this future of you being in community. And I'm even seeing this wonderful shared community, this like community table, you know, like eating, like in Europe, a lot of restaurants, they have the family table or community table. You're really sitting in this energy of abundance through connection, through partnering or partnerships, or I, I'm even hearing certain people like say your name or refer you. Um, so yeah, there's a lot coming to you. So a lot of your success is going to come through partnership, is going to come through relationships. Got the magician there. You're actually are entering in a very magical time because things are just going to fall <clears throat> more in alignment through the people that you meet or that you know. Yeah, see, look at that. That's huge. Look, you're leaving. So the magic of whatever you've been doing, the inner work, the focus, the reaching, whatever it is that you've been doing, it's ending this cycle um, to open to a new cycle, a new beginning that has that's that's more in alignment with the future that your soul is creating. Okay, so you're going to be much more active. That means much more people in your life. Um, that means look at that wheel of fortune too, and the world card. And wow, okay, so some of you it is through some kind of group work also. But you've got the Wheel of Fortune, with that Taurus energy, and I was saying Va, the nail, the hook, and the world. And you have the Ace of Cups. So again, emotional fulfillment through connection and collaboration, through community, through um, soulmate type relationships kindred souls but these are these are not I don't see anything about learning lesson really in three of Pentacles so it's gradual but it's 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 happening and I think you might even notice it more in a month or you might even notice that your own relationships have started to deepen that you feel a deepen in deepening in the relationships that you um, have right now all right let's get some rooms room cards and this is a short tune and a short reading. So what the message is for you is that you need to reinforce this. You're, you're, whatever you're doing, you're moving from some kind of, you're moving into a deepening or more harmony within yourself. And I feel like you're seeing somehow your gifts or gift or yourself and how you fit in I, I just really feel there's something you've cleared it's been it's been really a belief something mentally has cleared now, emotionally also but there could have been a belief they're not telling me that it's come that's it that's that completely some of its timing it's almost like you had to learn self um, sustainability or something that you had to learn something about being on your own or being doing more on your own responsibility accountability um reliability sustainability the ability to sustain it now it's like that's over it's all about relationships for you successful relationships i've got true partnership and movement trust partnership see and you've got partnership there so this is new beginnings in relationships. I'm going to say if you, if if you have been wanting to meet someone, I feel you will, and it'll be in some kind of group setting, group or community setting. I just heard you're not meant to do it alone, or you were never meant to be alone or completely on your own. Okay, then we release and let go. And we've got introspection in the world let's see where are we going with this so there's movement yeah so this is the thing you're not going to go back 
you're not going to go but this is this is deepening of relationships good relationships relationships that don't aren't good for you or were toxic yeah look at this othella heritage some of you, this is moving, going to be moving in with someone, but it's also showing your gifts. And this Othila is also about timing. The time is now and generosity, balance. Gibu has to do with partnerships. And the first partnership is with the divine or with our higher self, lower and higher self. So you've reached some kind of inner partnership or spiritual partnership or partnership within. And now that's manifesting externally. Whether you want to call it with an individual, you know, a deepening of existing relationships. So, what I'm getting is more successful relationships. There is success for you in relationship, and specifically partnership. It's safe to partner. You would do well to partner with groups. So, one of the reasons that I'm getting this message from Spirit, and some of you have guides I'm getting here, they're like, we really want them to know this and not miss the mark. So if you have people saying, oh, I'd love to do this with you, or would you like to partner with this, or should we do this collab, you know, or mashup, you really need to do. Now, obviously, trust your own intuition, but it's showing right now that partnerships will bring you a level of success that you didn't have before. And this success is emotional fulfillment and also in whatever you're doing. So whether that's fulfilling work or an actual relationship, you know, for some of you, it could be a move. It could be also a career change. The key right now for you is partnership, is really opening up to community and extending or expanding yourself. Um, you know, what even extending or expanding out of your normal routine or your neighborhood, and also to honor existing relationships and really appreciate them, really move into that space of abundance, that part of your abundance is your relationships, are the relationships that you have in your life at this time. So this could be referrals for you also. It's coming up for soul story number one. Okay, so we've got Virgo. Uranus in Virgo in the fourth house. This could be a move. So if you've been wanting to move, this could be a move or planning for a move and it comes through a friend or a partnership. Um, but this is also telling me that you've done some kind of cleansing or clearing, Othila, with family dynamics, family trauma, ancestral trauma. Um, the Akasha, you've cleared a lot about relationships. So success, great, whatever you've been doing, however you've been working on yourself, the inner work, the focus. Um, I feel like you, I feel a lot of gratitude with this group. I feel like you've moved into this space of really appreciating relationship and the relationships in your life and the value of relationship. So this means that because you've had this internal shift, that's also what you're attracting you're attracting better relationships, more harmonious partnerships, relationships. And you're also, this is bringing more cooperation in the universe. This could be a gift of a home, a better home, a deal on a home, working for a home, having the money for the home, or somebody comes and you get together and you get, are able to get a home together, they have a home that you move to. Definitely a lot of movement. You just had a little sneeze, sneeze on the truth. Yeah, so a lot of movement. So it's interesting because bees cross pollinate, right? So there is something about moving from one place to the other, or one group to the other, or community. You could be changing up communities also. Um, this is also could be writing or communicating for a specific group. A planetary group, the, a group on the planet, an area of life that you're going to be a speaker of. You're going to be getting messages. Now, this could be articles, this could be blogging. Again, this could even be video. It, it, it's, but there is a lot to do with communication. Now, the magician, obviously, that's um, associated with Virgo and Gemini. And then we have Uranus here, and you have Uranus. I would get expect the unexpected. 
that oh gosh what you least how you don't think it's gonna it's gonna happen some of you I'm gonna say this is a marriage that is very f fortunate or a alliance um, a partnering a commitment in a situation that brings a really fortuitous abundant prosperous alliance for you okay read that how you will it may be that you even have your own studio or place that you can do your art or work or whatever it is but there but there definitely is for fortunate alliances partnerships and relationships for you and so you really need to soak this up because it's coming due to an inner shift and so if you align with the energy of what's coming through for you with this reading then whatever it is that you're focused on is going to be successful you're already successful there's been a shift so it's bringing in successful relationships or success with relationships partnerships collaboration business relationships personal relationships committed relationships yeah this harm and see this kind of um success also brings in a harmonious relationship with the world and with the universe right so you're in perfect timing for what is unfolding for you so light your soul insights mantra is I am, I am in harmony with myself, my relationships, the world, and the universe. Yeah, that's it. Expect that cooperation. Expect cooperation in, in your endeavors right now. Lots of love and light. Hi, Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. Um, this is soul story number two. Wow, I did not know where this reading was going to go, but it's kind of different than what I thought. But this is very interesting for me to be doing this reading right now. Hummingbird, uh, lightening up in your success. Joy is bringing you success. So there's some newfound joy, maybe happiness. And that's going to help you attract more of what you want. I'm also hearing you'll do better with honey than vinegar. So the sweetness, you know, hummingbirds love their sweets. So I heard thank you. Someone's giving you appreciation. So there's there's some things coming back from what you've done in the world, what whatever it is work-wise or whatever it is that you've been doing, you're about to be repaid. So that's very successful. You may not have thought people noticed you or maybe maybe you felt, felt taken advantage of or you know slighted by friends or family or oh they don't, you know, they kind of take advantage. Some of you you're not even thinking that way, but I do feel something's coming back around. Um, to give you appreciation, to give to acknowledge just how far you've come or what you've done or what you do in life. Um, some of you, I just heard, you're going to have success in releasing a habit that you've been trying to release. Some of you, it could even be with sugar or something sugary, whether sweets or alcohol, something like that. Um, you're going to be able to release it. Some of you, this is also success in communication, or I just heard having the right words. I just saw singer-songwriter. Um, so you're opening up your fifth chakra, and this means the higher level of soul expression or creative expression. So you're also really going to be listening to your higher self or feeling the vibes of what it is that you want to do. A lot of your success right now is coming from feeling better, better about yourself, making the changes in your life that make your life better, and you're feeling um, more joyful and happier. And I feel people are noticing this. Okay, we're going to see what cards came out. It's so funny because I was thinking you should look at maybe soul story number one. So let's see what we've got here. And I said cross-pollinate in soul story number one. It, this card did not come up with the bees. But there could be a connection. Bee and hummingbird, they both, um, you know, flitter around. 
yeah, you're getting out more. You're going to be doing more. It's something you're changing, hybrid business, hybrid job, multiple jobs, multiple sources of income. You're finding some level of um, increase that, that you're going to feel successful. And for some, very much so for some of you, I feel this has to do with finances. Could be revenue streams or a revenue stream picks up or somebody invites you to do something. A lot to do with communication. Fifth chakra. Now we've got Gemini here and cross-pollinate. So communication, thinking, writing, speaking. Um, you're clearing your mind, but you, you clearly are expanding, especially with that three energy. I'm looking at that as third house of Gemini, which is really about expanding in the world, getting your message out there. Follow the joy. Whatever, whatever you have to do in your life, some of you might be going, Michelle, I have a lot of drudgery or problems. I've got a lot going on. Okay, I get that, and I, I want to say I feel you. However, if you let more of your joy lead you, or do more of what is joyful for you or brings joy, that's success. Feeling more joy and feeling happier is actually success. We have to pursue success. You know, we have to cultivate success. We have to pursue happiness. We have to cultivate happiness. It doesn't just happen. It's, it's really a mindset. And so that's really what you're getting. You're kind of hacking that. And what it's starting to do is it's starting to get you motivated and getting things in motion. It's getting things clear. You're gonna, you're moving in a building phase where you're able to do things that make you happier, or that by building, you're feeling happier. By putting things together, by creating things, you're feeling happier. You're feeling more joyful. And then we've got partnership, which soul story number one had, and then you have 10th house authority. So part of what's going on with you, your success right now is really listening to yourself and following more and more what brings you joy or happiness or finding the approach or the way to do whatever it is you're doing that brings more joy or more happiness. And this could be with schedule change, this could be where you put your energy, your time, your focus especially. And I just saw drums. I don't know if it's drumming. I saw some instrument. I'm seeing some instruments. So whether this is art or creative or music or whatever it is, whatever you're doing in your life, this is a destiny issue and it also has to do with 10th house, your own authority of yourself, but also your career so some of you are wondering am i going to be able to be successful in this new career yes now there, this does show all along the way there is some kind of oh, i was just going to define intervention oh yes you're learning how to gain synergy that's what's going on blending together all your talents that's the cross pollinating helps you create an energy signature that holds within your authentic creative expression. Now this could be an, yes, this could be an artist, but this could be how you live your life. So a big part of your success right now is gaining this momentum with Mars here, is, is working with yourself, working with your higher self, connecting in, but also taking yourself lighter, like not really having these heavy expectations, having a light plan and going for that plan, but allowing your higher self, allowing spirit, allowing the universe to move things you know, around. And as you're doing that, you're getting this synergy. You're, you're building from your gifts, your talents, but you're also going to be, I love this, this is it, inspired action so your joy and i'm going to take this too because this is it the freedom of soul expression so what's happening with you your success you're getting more and more successful in whatever you that you do in your life in your world whatever you're creating whatever you're focused on Okay, follow the joy. Okay, you're on to something. And some of you are going, I don't know if this is really right or am I doing this, but I feel better about this. But is this really going to make a difference? Yes, because this freedom of soul expression is going to bring you financial freedom. 
some idea, some project, or just bringing more joy in your life because what that does is it raises your vibrational frequency. Asking for help, being open for help, letting people support you, following through on the inspiration, taking action. This is about moving from just being inspired and writing stuff down, planning and wishing and hoping what's what's going to bring you more joy, which brings you more abundance, which brings you more prosperity, is moving from inspiration to inspired action. What I feel with this 10th house is you're about to have something that brings a lot of happiness into your life. It's There is a divine intervention or a miracle. You might call it a miracle. It's a, it's a destined... It's a, it's a destined intervention because it's coming in the 10th house, the house of destiny. This may be something that you put out in the world, in media, um, something that you write, something that you share. This could also be someone that you meet that uh, partners with you. So this also, I'm going to say there's more and more successful partnerships or partnering with people that are successful or being around people that are more successful or very inspiring for you but I definitely feel something out of the blue by you following your joy your bliss your happiness as much as you can in the situation that you're in is going to bring you more and more freedom of soul expression you're being told not to hold yourself back do more of what brings you joy what brings you happiness or do your work in a way that brings joy and happiness now sometimes that is Sometimes that's like, that's just how we, that's it. It's just how we do things, how we show up. But really the guidance for you is do more that keeps your vibrational frequency up. That, that keeps the oscillation of the frequency in a nice flow. So this may be, do you need to work out? Do you need to walk? Do you, do you, you know, do you meditate? Do you, what, what do you do? that inspires you or keeps you or has you appreciate your life and move into gratitude. Because as soon as we start appreciating more of what we have, we tend to move into joy or doing more that we that brings us joy, that, that shifts our perspective a bit, that gets us out of the doldrums. Okay, you've got the hermit here. Yeah, you know what it is. You've been working on yourself. And just as I said, that the Empress. So we've got Venus energy here. We've got Virgo, Taurus, Libra. And you're moving into the star. Yeah, something you write, I'm telling you, by you doing more of what brings you joy or what is more individually you or uniquely you, things pick up. Things actually move. Things get going. Okay, so six of pentacles. So we've got the four of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Yeah, you have to release. You have to release the I, and then you go into the ten of pentacles, financial freedom. You have to release right now the way you think something is going to happen, or the reason it didn't happen in a certain way, or it happened. Yeah, you have to. You have to let go. You have to let go. You have to find the joy, the happiness, and the little things, or the wins, the successes that you have because they're, they're leading you to bigger success. Yeah, they're leading you to bigger success. I want to say sometimes you go, your energy is very start, stop. You start something or you move or you have a, you know, um, a sense of being uplifted you, you know, you move into feeling better about things and then, boom, you kind of pull back, you know. So things could be a little up and down or a little, you know, roller coaster. But that could be your energy also. So just work with it. Take time to self for self-care and nurturing. And I feel with you, you need to figure in joy and happiness. If not daily, then at least weekly. And what, what you're giving, what you're putting out in the world is, is starting to build. That's also four pentacles. Starting to accrue. 
things are going to be moving that's going to bring you much more joy so motion is good for you getting out there moving driving walking dancing running whatever getting the moving movement that as you're feeling more joyful and to some degree peaceful that what's happening is your vibrational frequency is staying at a higher octave a higher tone you're vibrating at a better at a more soul aligned level and that's getting things going so even if you're right now it's kind of money in money out or you know some of you are waiting to receive something or get paid for something it does show that coming in but it does show you being able to build financially things things picking up so that you can build financially and so that you can have the, the money to do what it is that you want to do so if you're feeling a bit trapped right now things are going to get moving and follow through joy you know bring the joy in, bring the happiness that's going to motivate you the more joy you can feel the more happiness you can feel look at that it gets things moving Okay, we start with this. Yeah, Jera, achievement, life cycles, refine and improve. That's also Virgo. So on the down times, take time to refine and improve. And then it's movement, it's travel. So you're going to have the money to travel or do some of the things that you want to do. Rado is also communication. Um, so you're moving into some kind of achievement and probably will be September, October that you're going to see some improvement where this Six of Pentacles energy gets either a bit more steady or you start seeing, ooh, I'm in the Ten of Pentacles energy. You know, I'm going to be able to put some money aside or I'm going to budget or save for something. I'm going to have the money for, for, for something. Um, and this, be, this is because things are going to be moving. They're going to be, you're going to be activated. Follow your joy. Your success comes from your joy and happiness and follow through. And also for you to recuperate. When you recuperate, when you take the time to heal or renew, that is helping also energetically. So I've got Aquarius energy here. Didn't I say maybe soul, because soul story number one was a lot about community. So I feel like some of you could be, there could be a trip abroad, you, success. Your success is also going to come from being doing things in your neighborhood or group, but getting outside of the neighborhood, outside of the group, whether it's internationally or it's other groups, or it's being open to other, pe other people, or other people's influences, other people's ideas, other people bringing you on board. Um, so it's also showing that you have a very set way or interesting way of doing something, and that's working for you. So you're going to start seeing a payoff for that. So right now, Empress, refine. Is it your hair? Is it your is it your body? How you feel in your body? There's a healing taking place within your body. This could be healing on a health level. That's going to bring more joy and more happiness. And you're going to feel more joy and happiness on taking your body into account, really connecting in with your body, feeling better in your body. But I do feel there's improvements with the body. That could be health. That could be dressing. That could be your schedule that could be how much you sleep all these things are improving which is going to bring you feeling much happier in your life more joyful and that's going to give you the energy to follow through and you will I'm hearing that's not the intention but there is a reward it's karmic for the for the improvements that you're putting in the refining that you're doing with your work with your crafts craftsmanship with yourself Whatever the, this, these refining that you're doing and the blending, the harmonizing with different parts, um, that is bringing in some, not only a level of inspiration for you to move into inspired action, it is drawing in some kind of intervention, some kind of miracle, some type of quantum leap. Now, but it happens by feeling better about yourself. Sometimes we have to fake it till we make it. And I don't mean fake it don't do anything sometimes we have to go you know sometimes i get depressed i'll go for a long walk or a hike and then it's over you know i'm like 
you know, sometimes working out or my Pilates or different things. I have multitude. I can even light incense and I can feel better. But sometimes it's just getting movement, you know, getting allowing the, the movement in your life. You've got motion here and movement. So this is not a time to be stagnant or still. This is the time to walk, move, met, walking meditation, swim, just get into some kind of movement. Let yourself get lost in time a little bit with an activity that you're not always watching the clock, that you're getting into your own movement. That's creating the synergy. So this is a lot of success feeling better about yourself and whatever the improvements that you're doing, you're going to have success. Whatever these goals are, you know what they are individually. Whatever these goals are, especially in regards to your career, life path, um, your body, your health, your wellness, you're, you're taking the time, the, the self-honoring and to maybe dress better, maybe certain colors, you know, I, I even saw fragrances, certain fragrances, certain ways you wear your hair. I, I, I really feel there's like some attention to the hair where you could be coloring your hair or doing a different color or different style. Um, there's a lot with the face, the hair, how you appear to the world, how you are appearing you're, in a way that you're taking this hermit energy, this wisdom that you have this um, some of you even psychic ability but you might be packaging it differently so you might be packaging yourself differently or what you do differently in a way that makes you happier all right so like let's look at the astral dice for you how to align more of these energies the success aligning to the success Mars, okay do we not say that Mars again Mars motion movement Mars in Capricorn, that's refining. Ninth house, yeah, bigger picture. But this could be work, again, branching out with your work, cross-pollinating, collaborating, reaching out, doing something differently. Try something new. Stretch your mind, expand. Some of you will be working overseas or asked to go overseas or work in another town or country, something. And it's going to bring quite a lot of... Um, more income but you're freeing up ultimately your joy and happiness you aligning to that and working on that like how can I feel better about myself today how can I connect into the energy of me today and feel better about me feel happy about me feel joyful that doesn't always mean your circumstances are going to be perfect you're refining your life cycle your life achievement and yourself your body yourself your self-concept and as you uh, feel better about yourself, your self-concept, how you see yourself and view yourself, you move from the Six of Pentacles into the Ten of Pentacles. You move into freedom of soul expression to have financial freedom. So really connect into your self-concept of you, the concept of what you're about, who you are, what you're about, what you like. And if there's anything that's not life-enhancing or detracting from the amazing radiant soul being that you are then bring the ninth house energy get the higher perspective do some inner work all right so light boo let me know how that resonates lots of love and light hello radiant soul welcome to your reading this is soul story number three phoenix rising i just heard star rising um, as I'm tuning into your energy, you're reminding me of years ago when I did, I did a TV show, TV uh, project about success. And a lot of people thought it was about money. A few people didn't, but a lot of people. And success is so much more than money. Um, there's many different types of success, but I think overall success is more than this. You're rising now. You've got Phoenix, so I'm wondering burnout, burn down, something you're let let go of. I I, I feel for you, it could be a concept of yourself or, or an idea of you or an old picture, or an image of you that's kind of tanking or or disappearing. 
um, you're seeing yourself differently and therefore you're attracting differently. But, but this has not been without having to let something go and maybe some hard work or focus work or, or resistance. I, I feel like you've gone through a lot or are going through a lot, but some area of your life is about to be, I just heard, re-engaged. There's some re-engagement. Isn't that interesting? Re-engagement. Now, this could be, what area of your life do you feel has been lagging? Oh, I just look at this. True love. Let your inner child out to play and love. Wow. So it, it could be the barren land, landscape, that you're about to rejuvenate your life. And a lot of it has to do with love, loving yourself more, loving others, letting love in. So I really get like a, des you know, barren. I'm getting like... Something is transforming within you, and it's kind of been slow. I feel like it's starting to pick up more. You're going to, maybe at this reading, you're like, oh, Michelle, I know what it is, or I'm already going through that. But I feel like there's something that you're about to recoup. And it, it could very well be that your life got kind of small or barren. And, oh, look at this. Follow the signs. You are a divine channel. You work with angels and guides. You assist others. Follow the signs. Look for the clues. Yeah, your guides, your very own higher self, but also your spirit guide, your spirit team, is guiding you to some level of expansion where your life became very contracted or small, but you're being led by the light. So not only are you getting ready to move into higher levels of experience and expression, um, but higher dimensional levels you've been moving through. And I feel like a lot of you, your gifts are starting to open and you're going to be using these gifts of intuition or insight or channeling or whatever the information and write it down you're receiving is bringing some kind of expansion. And it's also bringing more people on your path. And I just heard for some of you it's children or, the ch or more projects but also children. There's something with children or teaching. Um, you're really being guided at this time. It's something that you're connecting with differently within yourself. I, I'm getting with this group, I'm getting you're very kind of self-possessed. In other words, you're, there's a strong inner connection because you do have these guides. You are being guided. Um, some of you, it is Ashtar here, Ashtar Command coming in. I just, oh, you're ready to see the world. Take your gifts out into the world. Mm. You had to burn it down to build it up. You had to tear it down to build it up. So you've been torn down. You've had to some big dark nights of the soul you've been there's been a lot that's been torn down or dissolved within you the walls um, the protection um, this rising is bringing you into a very vulnerable place a place that you feel very raw and open and I'm almost feeling like you had a major heart opening or an awakening. You're raw and open. And that's what I'm getting with this. There's a rawness and an openness that's coming in or coming through you or through this experience. And I'm hearing to tell you, you couldn't do it any other way. You couldn't do it before. You couldn't do it before. You had to go through this some of you, it's kundalini, opening, awakening. It's definitely energetic. It's it's definitely, uh, I'm getting a lot with this second and third chakra, definitely. Kundalini, root chakra, energy, a grounding but an opening. And it is, and I'm hearing laughter. I'm laughing, laughing, just like this 
deep uh, disbelly well light a very light high pitch laugh and a deep laugh and I don't know if that's some of your guides that you have to trust you have to trust us you have to trust you're, you're going through a narrow passageway and you have to trust look at it's narrow here but then it opens up look it's very open here all this potential, all this subconscious work you've been doing, and it narrows to open again. So it's narrowing here. The message I'm getting for you is to go through this path. It's like the eye of the needle. It's very narrow. You're going to feel very, um, look at that, Scorpio, of course. <laughs> you're, you're going to feel, um, I know we've got the Mars energy. You're, you might feel very squished or like, I can't go to the left. I can't do this. I can't do that. You might be saying, I can't do this. I can't do that. Because you're being rebuilt from the inside out. And this is rebuilding your life in a way that's going to bring a lot of abundance. Not just success, but a lot of abundance. Yeah, it's a deep healing cycle. Message for oh yeah see what did I say you feel it's a Saturn it could be in the Saturn transit but this is the energy that's why I'm feeling it's very narrow this passage this message is so important for you it's a narrow passage it's Saturn there's a lot of restriction or constriction but that's because something is being built from the inside out so when you follow the signs you're gonna start seeing the fruits of this inner transformation and transmutation and transformation it's going to start happening you're going to see it externally it's deep you've got Scorpio here Pluto Pluto and Mars energy co-ruler Pluto and Mars and you've got Mars here so this is deep transformative energy it's taking wounds from the past with that Scorpio energy and cleansing, clearing them, you know, it's it, it's, a, it's really um, a recalibrating process to requalify your energy. And you are in a transit. It is a cycle. That, and it's a Saturn cycle. Now, it could be present Saturn cycle where Saturn is hitting you right now. But doesn't matter. It's it, This is about building. And it's about getting the right structure of you to come forward in in the world in the universe so what brings yeah oh my god look at that you've got right under expansion you've got Sagittarius expand yeah you're contracting a lot it's like a rubber band to now expand to extend and expand so you might feel that things are contracting or you have a limitation but it's this contraction and limitation is bringing you much more um, success. So you're in, ooh, you're in a successful, you are, oh, you're in a successful cycle of this transmutation of energy with the tra in, in a transformation how you use your energy you're in a deep transformative cycle right now and it's happy it's successful and you're getting messages you're getting prompts of what to do and so you're meant to follow the signs you're the, more light is coming in so Sagittarius you're going to be able to follow your truth you're going to be able to see your the signs where the, where your inner truth is being is guiding you that truth from your higher self guided by your very own guides this is spiritual truth spiritual understanding this is also a higher vibrational love that you're also attracting wow yeah this is a big, so your success is, is, is coming through this transformative energy, this transformative cycle that you're in right now. It's getting to a deeper truth for you. Wow, all these came out. Should we take them? Okay. Let's see, six of wands, you have to trust. 
you're going to have it all back. That's what they're telling you. You're going to have it all back. Follow the signs. Some of you are rebuilding your life, rebuilding a career. You're bridging to another career and, and, and building something. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. What did I say? Page of Pentacles. The, very much about the builder. Taking time. Something new coming in, tangible, that's going to make you feel very good. That's the sun, creative project or great relationship. All this deep transformative work, whether being in the hustle, the grind, a lot of inner work, a lot of deep healing, a lot of loss, whatever that is, things are about to, I don't know, in a way bounce back. Okay, what have we got here? Ooh, look at all this. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. There it is, the transformation, temperance, the tempering. Recalibration of energy to requalify. So being recalibrated. So you are being recalibrated. Your your frequency, your vibration. There's a recalibration. Your life. You're you're in a reset. That's also Phoenix way of looking at it. And Moon again subconscious. It's deep within. Ten of Wands. Yeah doesn't surprise me why is the ten of wands there because this is a, it's a lot it's a lot of work it's a lot that you have to balance right now but you're doing it successfully and it's meant to be so you're going to be using your intuition to guide you to follow the signs that's all you can do right now there's a lot you either don't know or it's very overwhelming some of you could feel like oh my god i'm going to get burnt out but then there's this great goodness coming in this lightness this lightheartedness this hope again but you you cannot be the same person that you were to what you're to this next level expansion. There's a different or deeper truth, a deeper truth that's coming in. So you have to you've had to give up a lot, you have to give up a lot, but what's happening is you're connecting more to your spirit soul, the spiritual essence, the spirit realm. A lot of you are getting very transformative dreams. You're being really worked on in the dream world, dream state. There's a lot happening to you from the in the Akashic, the astral, and the etheric. There's a lot. And now it's starting to move from the astral into the etheric. So there are some things that are about ready to manifest. A lot of you, this could be spiritual work or spiritual career. You're becoming more known and becoming more successful. So whether you're bridging from something and one path to another or job or career or some lifestyle or way of living, it does show that there is success. And your success, again, is, has a lot to do with faith or trust within your divine guidance, within the guidance of your, your guides, uh, within the guidance of your mentors or teachers or the, or the spirit realm or the guardian angels, and definitely relying on your higher self, the true you, the higher self, getting out of the ego. You've had to do that. So this can be Phoenix, this could be work or a career or work or projects picking up. Projects that you've I just heard hope for and wanted to work with. Yeah, look at this. I knew this. Strength, determination. Yeah, follow your intuition, Lagos. So it's, yeah, and then there's inner gestation growth. This is something ending, but something, a new beginning. So your, your life is about ready to transform. This is big transformation. Um, it's big energy. But you can't just use your strength and wall things off or will things to happen or push. For you, it, this is taking action that is applied action by your intuition using your intuition more following that following your intuition following the signs following the guidance that you're receiving and that is expanding your life it's creating a lot of inner growth there's a lot of inner growth that's going to now begin to be seen externally and expand your world so I just get, if you've been feeling very small or life got small or dull or boring or stagnant, that's changing. 
your world is about to expand, but you had to create different um, inner structures, internal structuring. So your success is in this process that you are in or have been in, and, and you're starting to come out of it with a new strength. So that, that's success. That's you. This structure, if you didn't have this new inner structure, this inner strength, this inner confidence, um, you wouldn't be able to expand. You wouldn't be able to do what's, and you wouldn't be able to channel. You wouldn't be able to move into um, I definitely feel with some of you, yes, yeah, not only light worker, star seed energy, but you're working with Ashtar and you you do you're part of the plan, the mission to help people, to help humanity, to help in the world, to help with the earth. So you had to become this next level, right? And allowing more of your soul to come through, but you had to become this next level. That's been the transit. That's been this new foundation. So I'm just hearing what was taken away, what was lost, what was burnt up is, is being brought back. And it's going to open a lot more options. And you're, the only way you're going to know how to deal with these options and opportunities or new people coming on your path is to tune in intuitively, psychically, is to trust your inner guidance. That's the only way because there's just it's going to be a lot and a lot what's new. These are new people, new things on your path, new opportunities, and some of them very different than to how you are no normally work or whatever, wherever you put your time, energy, and attention. Something is changing within that. All right, let's see. How can we align to this energy, this transit that's happening for you? be success oh look at that yes I love this Venus how to align to it in Leo in the second house this is all about the love baby the true love love of yourself everything is coming from this up leveling of love acceptance of yourself in your path and how to align with it Venus and Leo love love yourself love your life love Put your creative love expressions out there. Do whatever you do with love. In the second house is your money, is your res but it's also your resources. It's the ability for you to reproduce yourself in the world, not just through, you know, children. We reproduce ourselves, but by our our abilities about what we put out there, what we share, how we extend out into the world. So whatever that you're doing work-wise or creatively, that is going to bring in success. But it's your self-worth. So you could have been doing a lot of deep healing work or inner work or subconscious work or family patterning, family systems, whatever. You could be, you, whatever this soul searching, whatever this deep investigation, deep dives you've been doing, you're uncovering stuff and you've been uncovering it and now you're moving into this space of feeling better about yourself and that is attracting success. That's attracting successful conclusions. That's giving you a sense of belief in yourself, in your path, your guides, God. That's giving faith that you can get through what you need to get through. So you have a lot that's coming up and this new life, this new growth. So the inner growth is, is, is going to bring outer growth. And it's in whatever you've been focused on and that's going to bring that expansion. All right, your soul insights mantra is, I am trusting my inner guidance, knowing that my inner growth is now ready to bring outer growth for me. Yeah, see, the growth is bringing the expansion. You're, you're, get, you're going to have a successful expansion. You're going to be able to expand your life. Whatever area or areas that have felt barren, those are now going to be blossoming. Okay, this is seeds, those inner seeds that you planted through visualization, through all the work you've done, gestation, pregnancy, inner growth. Something's growing within in you, and it is a metaphysical maxim 
it, 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 it's deemed as so metaphysically, esoterically, and in the occult, as we shift internally, we have to then have the environment and experiences and expressions of that next level of our soul, or the next focus of our soul. So that's what's happening with you. All right, Radiant Soul Light, lots of love and light to you. I'm very excited for you to see this growth and expansion, what this growth and expansion brings you, what kind of success comes from your growth and expansion. Hello, Radiant Soul Light. Welcome to your reading. Welcome to a small reflection of your world. Um, I just heard, don't overfocus on time, that time is an illusion and you need to move into timing. And I really heard, don't watch the clock. A watched pot never boils. So if you had some impatience, are you waiting for, why is it taking so much time? What's the energy? Or if you have a certain age or a certain stage and you're too old or too young or too this age or that age or what is going on? Now, dragonfly has to do with illusion. Working with magic, creating. Um, is It's also calls, are we deluding ourselves, right? But it, it's a call to the magic. The dragonfly has a lot to do with magic. So your success comes when you focus less on time and more on timing and more in the magic and the mystery. Even just stopping and focusing on your breath and your, your heart and go, God, without me thinking, my, my heart is beating and it's moving blood around <laughs> and oxygen. And I eat something that I, you know, and it somehow magically digests, metabolizes, you know, and uh, assimilates in the body. And, you know, if you need to go that level, because what you're about to create something or manifest something from a vision or a dream, you're about to have a level of success. But right now you need a little bit of a mindset or perception shift where you're focused less on how much time something's taking or how long it will take something or am I out of time or is it too much time or what's the time? And if you begin to move more into timing, you're going to have more success. Now, dragonfly, the same as uh, damselfly, which I believe is a little lighter uh, energetically, I think the body's lighter, but I do feel the dragonfly has two sets of wings. So that's something too that you don't forget. You have your little self or lower self and your higher self. Your higher self connecting into infinite, innate, creative intelligence of the universe, God, the all that is, divine mind. So use both of those. Um, green is bringing in new, some level of growth, um, healing. So this is flexibility. This is also being flexible with the spine, flexible in movement, flexible in thinking or, th or thought. Dragonfly spends some time in the water as a nymph before it becomes a dragonfly. So again, look at that magic, being a nymph, a nymph being very creative, very magical um, in the fairy realm. So you have success in, in transcending, but also getting into other vibrations, um, other you know realms, other spiritual realms in the etheric realm, um, connecting with nature spirits, sprites, animal beings, nature, kindred souls. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Your success is but an illusion. You are already successful. So you're going to be seeing some area of your life that you already are a success, and it's going to make you want to focus more on that success. I really feel there's something about the artist within. There's something you're being guided by your dreams. And one of your dreams is to have more kindred spirits around you, kindred souls, 
deep, meaningful relationships and create. You want to create more magic in your life. Well, you're going to be successful at that because your dreams are showing you the destiny that is unfolding. You might want to look at soul story number one. There could be a little bit of a message there too, if you were if you were drawn to that. And if not, oh, look at that soul contract. See, you've got kindred souls, soul contracts, lightheartedness. It's time for you to let your inner child play. Yeah, you're. Your success is coming through play, lightheartedness, dreaming, drawing, painting, uh, voice notes, visioning, uh, sharing, you know, with a trusted person, not someone that's going to a naysay or bring doubt, but drawing or painting or writing your dream out. And then you've got the path of least resistance. That's okay. Your success is by staying on this path or this track and bringing more creativity, lightheartedness, creative expression, self-expression, soul expression. Just see more of the magic and the mystery. Like I said, oh, my heart is beating and I'm not even thinking about it. I'm breathing and I don't even have to think about breathing. Wow, it's a miracle. Oh my God. How do babies, you know, get conceived and born? You know, a body is growing in someone and then a soul comes in through that body. The more that you can connect with this aspect of you, the more success you're going to have. And I would, the crossroads, a new business adventure, project or career is currently in the works. You're becoming, you're moving from that nymph into the dragonfly. So you are, you are in a successful transition that's bringing you to a crossroads. Now, by, your success will come by following your dreams and not resisting your path. Okay, so if something seems to be taking too long, it may not be coming from that person or that door, or that door may open later. What can you do while you're waiting? Okay, that keeps you aligned to the successful cycle, the, the energy of the, your, your success. And I feel like what's happening with you is some of the soul contracts that you've had are ending. You're going to attract, look at this, these two colors, look how they go together. Inner child. You're attracting more fun in your life, more playfulness, more creativity, more magic, or you're seeing it more. This is another one. This is another one about, I feel, a message about the lightness, you know, is shifting your frequency. Now we are in this huge, we are in this frequency shift. So this lightness, lightheartedness, letting things go, letting more things roll off your shoulder, not trying to fix things, especially with people that are leaving your life. And there could be quite a few people leaving your life. The magic is to see that they're not gone, but you may not be connecting to them as much because there's something shifting about your path. You're the one that's moving on. You're the one that's shifting. And there, there's going to be other people around you, and maybe there's one, one or two or some of you, two or three, uh, for sure one, that they're already shifting, that the two of you are shifting in the same way. Yeah, a watch pot never boils. Do not over focus on time right now. It's going to be an illusion. So you're going to be able to bend time. You're going to be able to do, you're going to be doing some timeline jumping, timeline collapse, most likely. There's some collapsing happening into a new timeline, and that's going to create a new time frame for you. So this is bringing in you know, much better experiences for you. Immersing, yeah, the vision, and you've got dreams. Cancer, emerge, immerse yourself. Yeah, immerse yourself in what you're doing, in your vision and ninth house exploration. That's getting the bigger picture. 
Neptune, water, cancer. Neptune and cancer energy, the vision. So you're creating from a vision, and I feel like this is a soul vision. This is coming from the Akashic. So it's showing success in manifestation of a dream, and I feel the dream has to do somehow with relationship or kindred souls, kindred spirits on your path. It could be at a distance. It could be moving to a place where you feel... And right now you're thinking, oh, I don't think this could happen. How can this happen? It's going to happen. Just be in the magic and mystery of it all. Yeah, look at that. Midheaven destiny. Ninth house. Some of you, this is publishing, retrograde. You're reviewing your life. I feel this is like the message is don't over review. You're you're you got to get out of time. You got to get a little bit out of the human drudgery. Um, you've you've got to the time to review or dis, is going to come where the crossroads is, and you're going to know what to do by how it feels. Does it feel magical? Does it feel opening for you? Do you feel more open? to possibilities. You're definitely in the magic and mystery. Yeah, there we've got Uranus change the, right under the crossroads. So you'll have a minute or so. <laughs> you'll have a minute or so to review. But I feel like this change that's coming in is from a deeper part of your soul. And the success comes from this change. So I do feel it's a successful change. So if you've been wanting to change something, it's you're changing it. If you've been wanting to change where you live or how you live or your vision, to some degree your vision is changing. There's a change coming in with what you're meant to do or your soul purpose is, is changing or the way you do your soul's purpose. Our soul's purpose is just how we do what we do. But something about your mission is changing. Your soul's mission is changing. Uh, the way you do your soul's purpose is changing. And you're about to get to a higher level in your life that is bringing you, gosh, I almost want to cry. It's, it's going to bring you, oh my God, such a deeper level of fulfillment. This is like the big one, you guys. This is the big deal. This is like everything else has been like a rehearsal or it's been okay. But this is going to bring you... It's a wish come true. It's a dream. You're gonna, your, your dream that you wanted is, is your vision, the dream that you've dreamt is going to manifest. You're going to have a successful conclusion. And on this is, it's the life or lifestyle that you, that you want or you want it. So I do feel you're going to be successful in drawing this in. Now this could be, again, a, could be, let's see, is it a, a move? it's more travel it's being around more interesting people the world is opening up but the thing is that you have to know is this change is happening already and that when it comes time in the 3d world to do it um, you will know you don't have to keep worrying about it right now I'm, I'm hearing you don't need to worry about it it's it's really unfolding. It's really driven by your um, your higher self. Yeah, some of you it has to do with work. Yeah, new beginnings. Okay, I'm not going to take more because the table's getting... But you also have the tower, Mars energy. So that's this crossroad. So right now for you and Cherry, it could be move abroad, move of house, lifestyle change. But this is also success in career and you have midheaven so this is a successful conclusion this is either a successful job offered that changes your world or a move that changes your world so you come from the six of pentacles to the ten hold to your vision do not focus on time right now you are moving into a time of success you've got the magician look at dragonfly and ma magician that's so powerful 
Yeah, this is about a whole new life or lifestyle that's better for you or more suited for you, is more spiritually based or more artistic, it, it, whatever it is. This is, a, this is a big change. The change that you're wanting, it could seem illusional or illusory. It could seem like a delusion. And no, it's not. Spirit and your guides want you to know. No, it is not. It is going to happen. Then we've got the fool. There's the change. You go from the magician. That magician and the fool energy is creating a new opening. There's the opening. You're trying to plan right now. No, 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 no. It's happening. It's going to happen. And look at this. Ace of Swords. It could be this year in the winter or next winter. See, there's the decision. I'm hearing the I hear to tell you the decision is already made. The higher you're already going to do it. You're just having to live it out on the earth plane. And this brings in you know work that is enjoyable. I see a lot of different images here, painting a house, working on a house. Page of Wands is renewed inspiration fulfillment this is blossoming it could be pregnancy for some page of wands page of wands is you know inspiration moving into inspired action it's blossoming love it's that could be the kindred soul you haven't met your match yet some of you you haven't met the one the next one the one for the long um and and again and the sun leo energy So I'm not going to limit it. The, the words that I'm hearing are, do not limit the universe. You do not know the way this is coming together, but it is coming together. This is your message. That what seems like a delusion, what seems impossible is going to happen. That's it. What seems impossible can now happen. It is aligning up. It's in the stars. This is destiny. It is aligning up. So you're thinking, oh, it'll never happen, or how can I make it happen? No, it's going to happen. Whatever it is, it's a successful conclusion. It's going to happen. It is happening. It is going to happen, and it is happening. Because you've been refining and improving, refining and improving things. I have too many cards out. That happens because, I don't know, I get different messages for different cards. Okay, look at this. Achievement. It's going to be Jera Life Cycles Achievement. That is the fall months. That's one year, too. So it could be one year from today, or it could be August, September, October. Um, and again, we, we had the Ace of Swords, so that can also be um, winter time. So let's say fall, winter. Big decisions with this soul story. Big decisions, but the breakthrough, de Gaz. but And timing card, this is spring. So I'm not going to get into what it is. I could, be, I could be here for another 20 minutes going, it could be this, it could be that, it could be a move, it could be a house, it could be a mayor, it could be, you know what it is. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Success it's happening and it's requiring you to make a decision you'll be at a crossroads of where to go or what to do or which person you know that leaving something behind but it is a destiny issue it's going to happen it's going to happen soul lights all right let's how can soul story number four align first of all less worry or journal figure out the worry and stop thinking about the time. I'm not going to make it in time. It's not going to happen in time. How can I make it happen more quickly? You can't. This is out of your hands. And the only thing you're going to do is you're going to go, do I go A or B, left or right, this one or that one, now or a, a month later? The, the decisions are going to be closer to the time of the crossroads. So story number four. Ooh, I'm so excited for you. Wow. <laughs> Fourth house. Well, oh, North Node. North Node in Aquarius. In the fourth house. How to align with that energy? Well, detachment. North Node in Aquarius is think big picture. Um, think about humanity, your work, your service. Fourth house. Um, build a foundation with that. With what are you doing? And fourth house also is um, with that 
even though Aquarius is fit, you know, is a fixed sign, I'm feeling like hold your ground to what you've built. Not in a rigid or dogmatic way, but you've built something you really need to honor and, and acknowledge what you've built, what you've created, or what you've worked on. And that could be some of the Im Im improvement. So you may want to look at, to align to this energy, is where can I scale up or scale out? Where can I ex explore? What Do I need to explore more things to have a better foundation or improve? And I'm, I'm going to say North Node in Aquarius is getting a little more detached. Um, detached compassion, we would say, for oneself and others. But North Node in Aquarius is also like, you know, it really is looking more big picture, kind of similar to Sag energy. We have that ninth house exploration. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that when you start thinking small or contracting or worrying or specifically about time, that Aquarius energy has you think more futuristically, like beyond linear time. Now, of course, Aquarius is co-ruled co or, you know, has an affinity with not just Aquarius, but Saturn also. Um, so it's both, but you can also go, okay, I'm thinking about my future and I'm building something, I'm creating something now. That's all you're meant to do is the building and the create, you know, and that's the tree, you know. You're building something that grows, that that branches out. To God's the sun, things better. Be in nature also, especially with that dragonfly energy. So think of your future. Think futuristic. Um, you can align to this by AI, using technology or understanding technology more, or yourself as technology, whatever that means to you. But it's really about building a foundation that moves you into your future and what it is that you want, right? So if you want to be in France and the Champs-Élysées, uh, maybe have some cappuccinos in the morning. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Go get a croissant, you know? That's what I'm saying. You can align to the energy of what you want in the present, that's all you have to do. This soul story, that's all you have to do because it's already deemed a success. It's already happening. Yeah. All right, your soul insights mantra is, what I want is already there and it's becoming. And I am attracting the success that is within my soul destiny. Yes. And that could be success in love, the right person, the right people. Soul contract, you know, sometimes we stay too long with soul contract. There's, these contracts are up, they're ending. You know, whether it's this year in the fall, winter, next, next winter, January, February, or one year from now, that's it, that's it. You're moving on, moving on. Lots of love and light and lots of love and success.